In this video, I'm going to show you today how we can make this texture and the solid works with the bar surfacing. So let's begin first. I'm going to go to bar surfacing menu and I'm going to create a box. So at first, just apply everything as it looks like this. And I'm going to get the top view and just make it a little bigger and wider a little. And insert a line on the center. Then I'm going to go to mirror it. So I can see this and make it a little bit thinner. Okay, so we just need this curvature up there. And we're going to try to raise this like this. So we just need to get the same look. Okay, so just maybe just a little bit wider from the back. And this this guy here is just creased. Okay, now just give it the first sub D. So I just subdivide it once, and I'm going to take this from here. So, because we need a little bit curvature at the center. Okay, let me just get my curvature. and subdivide more maybe before this subdivide I'm gonna get my curvature from here all right so now this this is a flat and everything looks great here now go to the, the next step and it's going to be subdivide a couple of times and we still have our shape so if you just look here it's just a little bit wider so I'm just gonna make it a little bit wider okay now about decreasing is starting from this edge here. So it's just from here until here. And leave a one, do the same, leave a one, do the same. That's what we gonna crease it. So it's going to be a hard edge and go up a little and make like a bit angular like this. So we just have this angle and if you look at here, you can see that all of this are just um, creased and flat. We're going to get this flat to here. Maybe make them creased from here. I'm gonna make it 60 crease at this side. And also those going to be creased. Now the next step is that I need to make this vertices um, merged with the surface. So if you just look at here, you can see now it just looks merged with the surface, but I'm going to just 
have more of vertex weight here. And let's crease them all. Alright, now I just need to move this a little so it make them all the same white. A little bit more. And I need to make this second subdivide. And take this edges. and make it wider like this so it just as you see given that effect to make it, it just looks thinner if you got the hdri let me just pick another color That's it for the blending. So as you see, it just looks great. Let me go to the zebra stripes and you can't see any issues. Go to the curvature. Okay, 